Howdy folks, Corky Duke here, Bomb Recruit is the game, and Ye Old Pub is the name. Now, this is a story that I I first learned about the story about a little over 20 years ago. I was looking through Military History Magazine and came across a painting somebody made called The Gallant Foe. Basically, December 20th, 1943, Ye Old Pub, a bomber from the 379th Bombardment Group, was on a mission over the Falkowulf plants at Bremen. Got, took severe damage, dropped out of formation. Flying home, and ran into a German pilot by the name of Hans Steigler. And instead of shooting the bomber down, which is what he was supposed to do, he felt compassion for the crew and escorted it to the English Channel. So the bomber survived. And the two pilots, Charlie Brown, right here he is, and Hans Steigler met for the first time in 1990. So this is... Uh, what this uh, campaign is about and I've got the actual crew from the bomber here and this is uh, Charles Brown or, or Charlie Brown as a pilot second lieutenant uh, the engineer top her gun is Bertrand Colomb Colomb or he's, uh, he was also called Frenchy that was his nickname navigator is uh, Al Sadak radio operator is Richard Petchout hope I'm pronouncing that right Tail gunner is Hugh Eckenrode. Ball, ball turret gunner was Sam Blackie Blackford. Port waist gunner is Alex. This is tough for me to pronounce. Alex Yellow Yellow Sanko. Yellow Sanko, I guess. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing these names. <clears throat> right waist gunner is Lloyd Jennings. That's an easy name for me to pronounce. And then the uh, bombardier is Lieutenant Bob Andrews. And this is the bomber right here. I did the nose art myself, like I always do. And we're looking at ending this campaign in three more missions. So here's the nose art. The old pub. Now let me know what you think of that nose art in the comments. Um, no engine art, wing art, Route L2, which is the actual uh, insignia they had on the bomber. And the tail art is, uh, of course, the 379th Bombardment Group. So, and that's it. Let's head into the briefing for the, was it 23rd mission? Not sure. I think it's a 23rd mission. Yeah, I do believe it is. So we're three missions away from my numbers. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, 23rd mission. So far, no casualties, and I haven't lost any bombers in this campaign yet. So that's good news. And we're going to go for command bunker array. Yeah, we're ready. Oh, we get to test out the uh, high altitude gear of the crew in this one. This is almost the entire mission will be flown at high altitude. And here we go. We are off and flying. Uh, I really love this story behind this bomber. Uh, it's just a great story. Sabaton is a... Man, I keep forgetting it is a uh, hard rock group that sings uh, stories about uh, war stories and stuff like that. Let me see if I can't Google them up. I'll just Google them right here. Sabaton. According to Wikipedia, Sabaton is a Swedish heavy metal band Swedish. from Malan, Sweden. Most of their songs are written about heroism in war. Yeah, heroism in war. So check them out. Sabaton.net is their website. And you can easily find them on YouTube and uh, subscribe to their channel. So I'm not, I'm doing this out of my own will. They're not paying me or anything for this. So I'm just doing them because I like their music. And I think it's a great group and it's a great idea what they're doing. So, But check them out. They're definitely worthwhile. They are definitely worthwhile. They got uh, songs covering all different wars. But Sweden, Sweden, they're a Swedish show. Swedish band. Oh wow, got two of them right away. Good shooting, guys. Gonna get this third one here before he passes by, I'm sure. No.
Alrighty. Looking good so far. Well, we haven't got very far from base and we've already been engaged by close to 12 fighters. That's something else right there. And most of them can't reach us. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to drop down and take them out. Yeah, we'll do that. Just slowly drop down and take them out one by one. Then climb back up to high altitude. And in fact, get the navigator over on this side. So we got both cheat guns roaring and firing. There goes one. Boom, boom, boom. Look at them all. Go down. Woohoo! Got more of them coming up. We'll just stay down here. Sick bay. Oh crap. Well, come on. Bad damage. Yeah. Alrighty. Come on. There we go. Oh crap. Alrighty. Let's get in the sick bay. to a target. All right, there it is. Where's that target at? There it is. We should, we should get it. It should knock it out. Yup, it did. Alrighty. Get the second one. Oh, 
Uh, I'm going to have to make another pass. I missed it. And we'll drop down, take that photo opportunity, and then head home. This is basically precision bombing of World War II, and got a bad lineup on that one. Crap. Alrighty. Just got to sail a little bit farther from it. And then take another approach at it. Crap. Alrighty. Alright, this is a good approach here. The clouds will clear a little bit. I can see the target better. There it is. I see it. I'm away. At standing. Now, what was that photo opportunity? There it is. All right, looking good, looking good. Coming up on the photo opportunity. And we're at 100% already, so that's good news. Still at medium altitude. Take this picture and head for home. All righty, let's head for home. Climbing to high altitude. Got two more missions after this one, and the campaign will be over with. <sighs> oh, these guys are trouble. These are comets. Almost know for a fact they are. Beautiful. They weren't comets, they were 262s. Close enough. But they didn't do much damage to us, so we got them before they could really do us in. So anyway. And we're a ways from home yet, so we got a ways to go. But anyway, I think I was talking earlier how uh, Eddie and I are living in this apartment. We're moving into a new apartment this weekend, which is really, literally right next door. <clears throat> Our address right now is 2526 Sharondale Drive. It's going to be 2530. So we're basically moving into the apartment complex right next door. But I pass almost every day going to work or going wherever I got to go, going to the VA. I'm a, about 100 feet closer to the VA. <laughs> uh, as it is, I only live about two miles from the VA now. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I could literally walk there if I had to. So. Get everybody up to 100% health here. Ah. Alrighty, looking good. Call some Mustangs in. We've got engine number three totally knocked off the wing, as it's not there anymore. Now where are we? 
Oh, no, we're we're getting closer. We're over the Mediterranean now. Actually, it's probably the Tyrrhenian Sea we're over. All righty, looking good, looking good. Hopefully these guys will pick up the uh, ability to do HE ammo after this mission. And perfect timing as our fighters just arrived and so do the enemy fighters. So that's perfect timing. Here we got two of them right away almost. Oh, the fighters may have gotten one of them. There's no telling. Yeah, so let's drop down and take care of these guys. We don't want them. We got more coming. There we go. Look at this little guy here. Measurement 109, I think. What do he look like? There's a 110. He's gone. And that's it. They're all done for. Quick. Quick and nice. Beautiful. Alrighty. Good job, shoot gunners. Home now. Two more missions after this one. Constantine. Approaching Constantine. And our landing gear is still in good shape, so we don't have to crash land. That must be Constantine right there. The closest city next to the base. Where is that? That might be Constantine. Because that's a city too. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're almost at the end of this campaign. Now you got to check out my next campaign called Super Fast Crew. And we're already on the second bomber of this campaign. Uh, I'll explain this campaign. I was a uh, Looking for re uh, recruits, recruited crew members when I was playing the Memphis Bell campaign because I lost a couple of them. And so I was going through, I was trying to get the fastest speed possible, which I thought was 120. So I ran into a crew member with a 140 speed. And so I thought, hmm, what if I... Uh, there's still coffee in there. It's not fresh. Huh? It's just not fresh. It's plenty fresh. It says sell before 1973 on it, so it's plenty fresh. 1973 was a good year for coffee. So anyway, so that gave me an idea of uh, doing well. You know what? Let me just show you what the bomber looks like. Uh, bomber and crew. And I'll show you the 140 speed of it. Of all the crew members, let me up, do my upgrade first. I get the fuselage to on the Mark IV. And we're almost there. We just got the tail on the nose, the front and the back. Outstanding. Okay, now the entire bomber is. Let's 
got a backup shoot. We got two. We got two first aid kits. All right, cool. And <coughs> we'll we'll head into uh, super fast crew, and I'll show you what I mean. I basically trashed the very first bomber in this campaign because I had to to kill off the crew to get to be able to recruit uh, crew with a speed of 140. I'm going to the crew and I'll show you. <clears throat> so we got for the pilot we got Howard Gonzalez speed 140. So every single one. Now notice their traits or professions are either express courier or baseball player. That's the only way you get a speed of a 140 with your crew. But the first two guys here, the pilot and the uh, pilot and the uh, top turret gunner, are named Gonzalez. So at, at first I wasn't going to do any nose art. Then I thought I saw that with their names. I thought, well, I got to do Speedy Gonzalez for the nose art. And here we go. That's what I got. I got Speedy Gonzalez. So. so and I think it looks pretty good. I think it's my best nose art yet. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. But uh, anyway. Our Speedy Gonzalez in Super Fast Crew number two. And uh, like I said, we've already lost one bomber. I went through. I didn't spend nothing on the bomber. Nothing on the bomber. And you'll see that in the very first movie. I haven't posted it much in my YouTube channel yet, but I will when I start this campaign. So they've flown one mission, six enemy fighters destroyed, 522 miles flown. One target destroyed, one bomber lost, nine crew lost. $4,740 spent, one week on photo taken, zero crew members rescued. So, and this is, like I said, it's only flown one mission, so it's ready for its second mission with the beefed up super fast crew. And uh, I'll, do the, I'll do the gear. Well, I'll wait. I'll wait. When I start the campaign <clears throat> and assign them there. I want to show everybody that each crew member has a speed of 140. So, anyway, now we're back to Yield Pub. And the 23rd mission? 24th mission. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what so we got Fogia. And then we got the final mission, Alva Avalanche. <coughs> Nah, we don't need that. So let's go with Fajia. We can actually complete this campaign in 25 missions, just like it's supposed to be done. Cool. So it's been a while since I've done that. Usually it's 26. And I even had a failed mission in this campaign, too. So, but anyway. Yeah, here we go. Second to the last mission. And we got a beefed up B-17 fuselage. Armored Mark IV guns are powerful. We're ready. We got to destroy two fuel dumps, and that'll destroy the rest of the uh, comp uh, airfield complex, the factory, the fuel storage, the air base, you name it. They all go up in smoke. Just got to hit two sites, and we also have a chance to sink a battleship too. So we'll be doing that. So here we go. Oh, by the way, nope, got in this one. Yeah, I lost a. I I still play campaigns that I don't record, and that's what that Ace is High was uh, that you saw in my uh, my uh, loadout. So that's a campaign I'm still playing. That uh, I'm not I'm not recording, just not recording the missions for whatever reason. I don't know why. So, I want to keep the American campaigns. I want to keep them all in. Uh, all I want to keep them, all their movies together. Yeah. Ah. Come on, man. Give me that HE ammo. Oh, excellent. You guys did a good job shooting. There he 
There he goes. Down for the count. All right. I don't believe I have a recon photo in this area like I do during the reconnaissance of this airfield complex. Because we've already been to this airfield complex before, taking pictures of it. Now we're coming back to destroy it. So, which, you wouldn't send a bomber to do reconnaissance. You'd send a reconnaissance plane to do reconnaissance. So, but anyway. I said that a million times before. I know. Excellent. Outstanding. Now it gets real quiet. Real quiet. But yeah, there is no. Ooh, look at this weather. Look at these clouds. Uh, I bet you the lightning's going to start kicking up too. And start hitting me with lightning. Yeah, there it goes. There goes the lightning. The oh, good news is I don't hear bacon frying right now. And why? We gotta get rid of that. There we go. We did. Beautiful. Beautiful shooting, tail gunner. Back in road. Oh, good. <clears throat> we are dropping them like flies tonight. Excellent. Second to last mission. Look at this. And we'll call the fighters in when we get close to Italy. By the time we time it, they should be over the target. When we get over the target. And up with this lightning crap. Two little fighters here. This is a short little patrol. Time to drop down. Ah, let's wait. Wow, those are comets. Didn't see those coming. Get away from me. There we go. Blackie, get your butt in the sick bag. Gotta get Charlie Brown healed too. Now those comets, boy, I tell you, they really tear into you. Navigator at his post. Yeah. There we go. This will destroy that air base there on the left, hitting this uh, fuel depot. Ah, oh, crap. Our 
friendly fighter should get here pretty soon. There they are. They're here now. Right, let's sink this battleship and then head back for the rest of our target. Got it. Alright. Got that fighter. Get this fighter. Get that. Where are those other fighters coming in at? There they are behind us. <coughs> There we go. Alrighty. I'll destroy this complex here. We're hitting this fuel depot right here. I'm gonna destroy that airfield. There we go. Okay. Let's head for the uh, target of opportunity photo recon. Hopefully we can take that out too. Yeah, it looks like all the fighters are done and out. And we're in pretty good shape. No major damage to the bomber. Gotta get some of these guys from sick bay though. Wait. Not enough bombs to damage it. That's alright. Not enough bombs to destroy it. We damaged it, but not enough bombs to destroy it. Let's get Charlie Brown healed. And everybody else in the sick bay. Everybody up to full 100% health. That's the way I like them. You gotta do that in between your what fighter waves. Of course, you want to keep your eye on the uh, radar while you're doing it. And boom, everybody's 100% health. Excellent. And just in time, because here comes more fighters. There we go. Lost our landing gear, damn it. Always lose our landing gear. I don't know what it is about this mission. This mission and the last mission, we always lose our landing gear, I swear. I think the German pilots actually targeted it. Yeah. They're probably targeting the wings and the engines and just wind up hitting that instead. But yeah, no landing gear on the port side. Of course, it doesn't protect the landing gear when the B-17's landing gear is exposed like that. So that's why it gets shot out so much. But as long as we don't take too much damage. Can bail out, what, three people? Yeah, we'll just land it. Do an emergency landing. Any day we want to get our fighter call back. And give, the, give those fighters a call. Get 
get the navigator in the sick bay. He's got a he's got a scratch. Always got to lose the landing gear. I swear, you know. Oh, Mustangs. We'll probably only face one or two waves of fighters going home, but you never know. And there they are. Oh, little, little friends are here, so let's join them. They'll be fighting the Mustangs and us at the same time. Hey. You got to jump on more than two waves of fighters. Look at this. these comets? I don't know. They're going down quick. I think they were. They went down quick because of that top turret gun. Beautiful. That quad 50 on that top turret gun. Now conceivably, you could have put a quad 50 in the top turret position or tail or ball turret. Problem is, it wouldn't have been feasible because you would have had to have, there wouldn't have been enough room for the ammo and enough weight for the ammo that much ammo. I mean, a quad 50 uses up a lot of 50 caliber ammo. And so it could have been done, but it just wasn't feasible because they didn't have much ammo supply as it is with a dual 50 caliber on the top ball and tail. And the reason the British used 303s is because they could put more, fit more bullets in there because they were small and not as heavy. So, as soon as we tag that runway, we'll get everybody into crash position and then land this thing. And we are already pretty much at low altitude. We'll have just one more mission after this. Let's get everybody into crash positions. And the navigator, too. God damn it. Oh, we're already home. Holy cow. Oh, got to make another pass. Make sure we got enough fuel. I think we do. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we do. Approached the base very quickly. Didn't expect us to get there that quick. So it wasn't ready for the emergency landing. Now, it looks like there's a lot of bullet holes in it, so it looks like the bomber's not as very badly damaged. In reality, it's not, because if it was this area would be black and red, the fuselage area. Black means it's literally one more hit in that area and the, bo the bomb will go down. So, oh, that's, yeah, that'll be all right. We'll just land from here. Yeah, it's coming down pretty good.
Nice and easy, Charlie Brown. Good, 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 good. Another safe emergency landing. All right. Now, the only thing to really upgrade. H E ammo. Finally, those guys finally got H E ammo. And the bomb here too. Everybody, excellent. All righty. And let's see. And let's get everything that I need. The fuselage is all Mark IV for so equipment. Please, God. This will be all parachutes. This will be all parachutes. And so we've got, that's five, eight, nine. All right, excellent. That's exactly the way I like it. And just in case, about another pigeon. I like how the pigeon weighs 10 pounds. That's one heavy pigeon. Everybody, I mean, what do you think in the comments? You ever seen a 10 pound pigeon? Has anybody ever seen a 10 pound pigeon? That's a heavy pigeon. I mean, hello, Jenny Craig. Yeah, for the last mission. That's what we're on right now. We're on the last mission. We are going to do a waste tax. Now, can you guess what's going in the waste tax? I hope so. Let's see what it looks good here. Well, I think white looks best. Yeah, I think white looks best. Let's see if you can guess what I'm putting in the waste tax. Yeah, the man himself. The man that uh, saved these guys and had compassion, Hans Steigler, the German pilot. So, we're definitely going to get a couple of screenshots of that. All right, I'll be right back. Hans Steigler is the very German pilot that saved the crew. There is no other way to put it. He saved the crew. I just got to give a lot of thumbs up to him. A shout out. He's, he's no longer with us. He died in 2008. Um, I don't think any of the crew members are still alive. Because uh, Charlie Brown and Hans Steigler died within a couple of months of each other. In 2008. So... Uh, but they were they were best friends. They met in 1990 and were best friends for the rest of their life. So, so that's going to be the only waste text we have in this campaign. So, hats off to you, sir. So, rest in peace and all that. And here we go. Last mission, Operation Avalanche. It's the big one. You'll be supporting our boys' invasion of the mainland. Stay on your toes. All right. Here we go. The last one. Bomber Bear is ready for a very successful mission. And campaign for that matter. No casualties so far. No loss of bombers. Hopefully we can keep that going. Oh, we gotta get some screenshots. Let's try and get one where it says Ye Old Pub and Hans Steigler. That'd be cool. Yeah, that's good. 
All righty. Cool. Here we go. And we're off. Now, I've done this mission several times, and I think the best way to go about it is to head in at medium altitude, not high altitude. And we, when we reach the beachhead, we'll be jumped by about a dozen fighters. Then, once we engage in them and shoot most of them down, start climbing to high altitude so that we can use our daisy rockets. And then that way we can better deal with the three comets that will come at us as soon as we're over the target. They'll come at us every single freaking time in the same place. And if you're busy, which is usually what happens if you go in at high altitude, the gun crews are all shooting at the fighters below them and those comets just come in and just tear you to bits and that, especially in that first wave H.E. ammo alrighty I like this H.E. ammo it works good look at that got two of them right away Ooh, there we go. Alrighty. Get some accent shots. With the good old waste tax there. That was what, nine, ten fighters that we just faced? We did a good job. I don't think they got any hits on us. I don't see any bullet holes. Well, yeah, there's one right there. No, that's a window. That's not a bullet hole. That's a window. That's where the escape hatch is for the tail end of the bomber. <clears throat> uh, escape, escape hatch is right somewhere in there. Of course, the bomb bay has always been an escape hatch. Uh, that opens up the bomb bay and the crew just jumps out, uh, out of there. But anyway, we're looking good so far. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty. Now we there's a, before we get to the beachhead, a World War One biplane will show up. Always, he always does. This ain't him, is it? I don't think so. No, he shows up right when we get to the beachhead. Oh, crap, man. Nah, well, here we are. That may have been him then. Nope, here he is. This is him right here. <laughs> just a just a little pinch between the cheeky and gums just knocks him out of the sky. <laughs> And then pretty soon after this, we'll get hit with uh, close to a dozen fighters and we'll start climbing. Get up to our high altitude so we can drop these bombs, take out that uh, bunker. And then we've got to use the other bomb on the grass Zeppelin, which has been eluding us through this entire campaign. Now we get to take him out. Time to use the... Uh, yeah. There we go. All righty. Start engaging them, and we'll slowly be climbing as soon as we start engaging them. And right there is the target. There we go. We can start climbing now, I think. Where are those fighters at? Uh, and we'll 
climbing. I already got most of them down. All of them are down. Damn. Keep climbing. Keep climbing, pup. Keep climbing. Yeah, there's a the target right there. And we are at our ceiling. So now we'll just look. Here they come. See, those are comets. Alrighty, we gotta head down. Emergency dive. Fix that number three engine. Alrighty. Come on. Give me a navigation point. There we go. There we go. Let's get the navigator or the engineer out to fix that engine. Come on. Come on. Alrighty. And, uh, well, now it's probably good. Now I'll wait a little bit before we call on those fighters. Wait a little bit longer to call in the spiders. Alrighty. Alright, now we can call in the fighters. Auto tag. We got, oh yeah, we got serious fighters coming in now. And our fighters should show up here pretty soon. Here they come. I think they're coming in. We can really use them. Hint, hint. Bunch of Ju 88s, like a whole s squadron of them. Mustangs are here. Excellent. Hopefully, we can keep our landing gear through this mission. It's a rarity, but it is possible. Where are those fighters at? There they are. What the hell? We got some port side landing gear slightly damaged. We got to clear this area of enemies. We need to get the navigator to starboard cheat guns. Have him blasting away too. Excellent. Excellent. We gotta climb up the high altitude now. Cause we gotta take out that carrier. And then we can head home. There's another fighter there. Untagged fighter. Where'd he go? There he is. The hell? Why doesn't he show up? Okay, where's this carrier at? There it is.
Alrighty. There's a carrier. Trying to give me a something to tag it with. There it is. and we got turning around and heading for that carrier. Okay, what's going on here? What the heck is going on here? How come I won't let me... It didn't turn around and start heading towards that carrier. What the heck is going on? Some kind of game malfunction? Not the now's not the time for that. Come on, climb, climb, pub, climb. to our right, I believe. I tagged it before and it should have turned around and headed towards it, but it didn't. Where the hell is it? Okay, we're at high altitude. Now, where is it? Oh, there it is. Alrighty. That should do it. Beautiful. Alrighty. Uh, we got to drop down. We get... <coughs> Excellent. Alright. Give me a navigation point for home, Anna. There we go. Still got our landing gear. Alrighty. Get our navigator into sit bay. <coughs> Where are those fighters at? We got everything. Hmm. We're still attacking our invasion fleet. We cleared the area of enemies. I wonder why that is. Alrighty. Well, we're heading for home, so. Those things are here. Andrew's in the sick bay. Things are looking good. We're heading home. We got everything done. We just gotta make it home. So far we've got our landing gear too, which is the big yay. Yay! We can land, have a normal landing. That excites me more than anything right about now. I was worried that I was gonna lose this bomber and crew and I wanted, really wanted it to make it through 25 missions without any casualties and so far that's looking good. That's looking like that's what's going to happen. So, <clears throat> so we got everything done. Just got to make it home. Fuel status looks good so far. 
No warning lights. No fuel, low fuel warning lights. Just gotta keep heading home. Alright, we still got our fighters with us, too. Yeah, there they are. I hear them in the background. And there they go, they're heading back home. Of course, now that they're heading back home, we'll start seeing fighters now. And it's when the, you see the tail of our friendly fighters fly away, and here comes the nose of the Luftwaffe. So. But everybody's at 100% health. Well, no, not quite. Who is it? It's, oh, the radio operator. Ah, uh, he's just got a little niche, little neck. Yeah, what the heck? Put him in there. Won't take him long to get healed and be back. See? Didn't take long at all. We didn't even miss him. We are going to get hit by at least one more wave, maybe two. That's for sure. Excuse me. Yeah, I told you. Well, there, that's just one so far. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, we can't can't let him go so we're going to drop down yeah we didn't let him go blackie got him we might still face some more so we're heading we're heading down low in our victory dance i'm sure the b-17 will do its victory dance a happy dance before it lands since this is the end of the campaign and a successful mission very successful mission bomber's got light damage superficial damage Port side landing gear still in good shape. Slightly damaged though. Uh, that might be it for fighters. Woohoo! Yeah. This might be it. We're getting close to home now. Woohoo! Hey! Uh, where is it? Where is it? Gotta be here somewhere. Should be. Can't find a. I get. I'll have to get another one. But yeah. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Woohoo! Yay! Woo! Outstanding job, Yield Pub. Bomber Bears here congratulating the crew of Yield Pub. A successful campaign in 25 missions too, which is exactly the goal that I shoot for to do it in. So, and here we go. Landing gear is being retracted. So, Bummer Bear wants to congratulate you guys on a very successful campaign. Zero losses, zero bombers lost, zero casualties. Great job, guys. And uh, enjoy your trip home and your fundraising tour, tour for the war effort. Great job, you old pub and the crew of you old pub. Starring 2nd Lieutenant Charles Brown. I just got notified that Charlie Brown's going to be promoted to first lieutenant. So, so that's awesome. Great job. Woohoo! Yes. Palmer Bear is very happy. So am I. I really wanted this campaign to go off without a hitch like it did. So, and it did. You give me credit for it. Oh, there was no recon photo. There is no recon photo at the end of this campaign. At the end of this mission. Here we go. And here's the movie that the game provides. Everybody's happy. <laughs> Yay, great job.
Bomber Bear. Woo! Congratulations, ye old pub. Now they'll probably head to the pub and have a few after this mission and campaign. Before they head back to the States, they'll fly that beautiful bomber back to the States. Look at that nose art. Do I do a good job on my nose art? Let me know. Check out the different nose arts that I've had and the different campaigns that I've had. And let me know what you think of the nose art. I really want to hear what you have to say about it. Some, it's, it's get, I'm getting better at it and it seems like it's just coming a lot easier to do now. You know, I'm understanding how to do it and what to do with this, that, and the other thing. So, but let me know what you think of the nose art in the comments. So, and this is it. Well, like I always do, we'll head back and check out the entire stats for the entire campaign. So, I'm not sure when I'll start my next campaign. I want to get some games in today and tomorrow. Some other games in between the campaigns. So I may start it sometime next week. I don't know. Maybe Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know. I don't know yet. But... And there we go. All the credits. The bomber crew gained credits. I need to look at this and find out who uh, made this game. Find out their names. So that way I can complain to them. Ah, just kidding. I'll stalk them on email or something. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, here we go. Where is it at? Oh, right here. You old cup. All righty. Let's get a, an exact number of the stats. How many fighters? 25 missions flown. 580 enemy fighters destroyed. 23,018 miles flown. 57 targets destroyed. Zero bombers lost. Zero crew lost. That's the two most awesome factors of this campaign. $156,065 spent. 34 recon photos taken and zero crew members rescued. That's also another impressive, um, impressive uh, uh, stat. So anyway... So I'm Corky Duke. CorkyDuke.com is my website. So one more hats off to Hans Steigler, who, uh, of course, had incredible amount of compassion. And let me make one more point clear, and I know I've said this before, but this just bears so much recognition because all he had to do was shoot down one more B-17, and he would have earned the Knight's Cross, and he didn't. He chose compassion over valor. So with that, I will say goodbye. Like, comment, and share my videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, like I said, uh, check out my nose arts from all my campaigns and let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Y'all take care. Bye.